Hey all I'm Adriana and thanks for checking out my channel. So I am going to be reviewing some products from Miss A. If you have not heard of Miss A, it is just a very discounted makeup store. So it's mostly online. I believe the only store here or that they have open is in Dallas, Texas. And I went ahead and visited the store. I've heard of Miss A, um, but I just had never ordered from them or visited the store. Well, I had visited the store, but I never bought anything. But I wanted to, I wanted to go ahead and pick up some stuff for my channel and to test some stuff out because I was really curious about it. I mean, super cheap makeup is like great if it works great. So, I mean, it's a whole store. You, you're good. You're bound to find some gems in there. So, yeah, I'm excited to be sharing what I got with you guys. Um, I didn't get. A crazy amount of stuff but I got about $20 worth of stuff which is I think decent um, so yeah I'm just going to be sharing with you guys some of the products and letting you guys know my thoughts on some of them because I have tried mostly everything out I think I've tried everything so <sighs> let's go ahead and get into it all right so I'm just grabbing so first thing I'm wearing them so I'm wearing these lashes they're super super dramatic they're very big crazy but crazy dramatic lashes always catch my attention I love big crazy lashes so these are from Cara and they're in the style number 102 I like them so far for a dollar everything that I bought was a dollar so for reference but for a dollar, I really, really like these. I thought they were like super dramatic when I first put them on, but that's how I always kind of am about lashes. I'm like, whoa, those are kind of crazy. But then like I kind of settle into them and stuff. And so I really like these. Would I purchase them again? Definitely. I would purchase more lashes for a dollar. You really can't go wrong. And it's, you know, a fun way to test which styles work on you, which styles don't work on you. So. I really recommend the lashes okay so I also picked up an AOA studio wonder jelly gel blending sponge so it's not really a sponge so this is what it looks like I got the glittery one if you can see so yeah um, I've only used this maybe like twice since I got it I'm not super crazy about it um, this is my first time using one of these blenders. Um, I usually always use like a beauty blender. Very rarely do I use a brush, like a foundation brush. So it's kind of, not kind of, it's extremely new to me. So still playing around with this. I'm kind of trying to see how I can make it work. Um, but yeah. I just I don't know a lot of people rave about these but I'm like I don't see the hype about it but for a dollar it was good to try and we'll see if I can make it work if you have any suggestions or you've used one of these before let me know what you thought I don't know I also got a baked highlighter also from AOA and this is in the shade macaroon and I am wearing it today it's Kind of subtle it's not like super crazy or blinding but it is nice it's a nice highlight is it something I'm going to be reaching for all the time no so this was probably the most disappointing product that I bought out of like everything that I bought so this is the AOA Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. So I bought this because I am a big fan of the YSL Blur Primer. Um, I think I've used it here on my channel before, but that's like my favorite primer. But it is very expensive. It's like $60, I think. And this was a dollar. But, I mean, that's a huge price difference. Like, huge. But I thought I'd try it out. So it's very similar as far as like the product they're trying to sell you so it has like the little gold glitter in it to kind of mimic that gold those little gold sparkly yeah but this is super liquidy 
but I've used it a couple times and the few times that I've used it I just wasn't liking how my face was feeling I feel like my face felt kind of dry and my foundation really wasn't like applying the way that it should so I'm definitely not gonna use that unless like I have to or something but that was definitely one of the products that I was like very disappointed in and I would not recommend that okay so I also bought this cute little eyeliner literally just bought it for the packaging I had seen it online before and I was like oh that's really cute so this is the pixie jar liquid and pencil liner set and this is from clean color so you get a liquid liner here and it's actually a decent liquid liner it's not the best in the world but it's also not the worst in the world I've paid a lot more for a worse eyeliner so and then when you take off the top it becomes a pencil liner so that's fun that's cute um, I am wearing the liner today it stayed on pretty well I haven't had any problems with it so um, I wore this another time before today and didn't have any problems with it then either so I actually like that for a dollar I haven't had any problems so definitely liking that this is also from AOA this is a sculpting sculpting brow pencil I got the shade dark brown so it does come with like a spoolie at the end and then over here you have your pencil it's shaped very much like the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer pencil I think uh, so this is nice I've used it a little bit but I haven't really like put it to the test so I'm definitely going to try that this is one thing that I really haven't tried so and even if it doesn't work out the way I would want it to I still get a spoolie so and I got an eyelash applicator from AOA also um, I've just never had a full-size eyelash applicator. I've gotten some with some of my Eyelore eyelashes, but I've never had like a full-size one. Um, I used this, but I was in a hurry and I was like, okay, I don't have time to learn how to like correctly use this. I just had to grab my tweezers and hurry up and put them on. So I haven't tried this out either 100%, um, but hopefully it works out for me. Next, I got brushes. I just got four. I didn't want to go super crazy, which I'm thinking maybe I should have, but... It's okay. First two, these are black um, handles. Uh, so these are all AOA. And this is an E113. And then this is an F19 brush. And then I got these two and they're white handles. I'm not sure what the difference is between the white and the black. These say high def. So high definition but I still don't understand what the difference is between them but anyway uh, so this is the high def brush e107 and this is what it looks like so it is an angled um, blending brush I guess it's kind of big this is the high def brush f7 so this one I've been looking for a foundation brush that works really well for quite a while because I don't always want to use my beauty blender or a sponge or whatever. So I've been looking for a foundation brush for a really long time and I think I finally found the perfect one for me. So oh, it's just like an angled flat brush. I've been using it for the past few times I've used makeup and I really like how it blended out my foundation. It just did it really nicely there was no like streakiness or anything and I also used it to apply my concealer and that worked out really nicely the angle that it's at works really great under the eye so I think this one's maybe my favorite brush that I picked up definitely suggest these I've had no problems with them like shedding or them being cheap feeling they feel really nice and fluffy and soft and I really really like them last is all my lip products so this is the they're all from AOA studio this is the wonder lip liner and this one is in hero so it is a pretty lip liner it's like a burnt orange terracotta kind of color which I love and I'm wearing that today 
along with the liquid lipstick in Hero also. So this one is also like a terracotta shade. That's it there and I'm wearing it right now. So I really, really like it. I think it's a really pretty color. It's right up my alley. I really love terracotta orangey kind of burnt orange brownish kind of shades I really really love those kinds of shades so I definitely am super glad that I picked up that specific lip liner that was the only lip liner I picked up but I was really glad that I picked it up in that color because that's my favorite color that I got from the all those lipsticks that I got it's really comfortable it dries down to a matte finish um it doesn't feel super drying it's long lasting like it doesn't come off easily there's some liquid lipsticks cheap liquid lipsticks that you know when you like kind of rub your lips together they start kind of crumbling and stuff and I had not experienced that with these lipsticks so I was really surprised because hello they were a dollar this next one is divine and this one's kind of more of like a peach kind of color right here still really pretty this one is also matte uh, this one is matte also this is in the shade doll and it's just like an orange orange it's like a very red orange really pretty on the lips and then I picked up lit I guess and it's like a very dark blue I was very intrigued when I saw this one online and I was like okay I gotta pick this one up there it is so you do have to apply another coat with that blue shade um, because it is a little bit streaky so yeah this is like a purple based blue but it's really really pretty oh. and then these are metallics they're the wonder metals and I picked up two of these so this one is obsessed it's like a an orange gold kind of color right here Ooh. I made a mess of that and then this pink one this is in yas 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 and that's it right there it's a very pearly kind of pink and then that day they were having like a little promotion so when you spent $15 you got a free pack of makeup remover cleansing wipes I got my scent in cucumber so it's 15 pre moistened towelettes um, they are alcohol free pH balanced so yeah I actually really like these they take off the makeup pretty well um, I used one for all over my face I just had to use a little bit more to take off like my eye product I would definitely purchase the wipes because I like them so yeah that's everything that I got from Miss A I really liked pretty much everything I got from there the only thing that I regret buying was that primer it's just not good girl like oh no don't use that don't buy that but otherwise I really like everything else I would suggest buying a lot of the products that I mentioned here um, they're just some of them are too good to pass up for a dollar so if you are not in the Dallas area you can shop Miss A online I will leave the link down below so thank you guys for watching I really really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video please remember to like this video and also remember to please subscribe to my channel that would really help me out a lot and if you have any questions comments or anything like that you can always reach me down below or i will leave all my social media at the end of the video and yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time